Alright guys, we are out here today in Melton, we're at Starboard Games. I've been here a lot, I love this place, I've always got an amazing range of games, really good prices. Let's go check out what we can get today. As you guys can plainly see, Starboard games are stacked with stock. They've got everything from every generation of gaming, from Atari, Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation, Xbox, and even some incredibly rare ones like the Panasonic 3DO, Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket, just to name a few. They've got every conditioning of game, including this factory sealed NES Hogan's Alley game. But they've got everything from loose carts, boxed, sealed, and they've even started dabbling in graded games. Regardless of what you're looking for game-wise, you are most likely going to find it here at Starboard Games. Alright guys, as you can see, we may have bought a lot today. So let's get home, get these bags open, we'll show you what we got. finally home and may have bought a bit yeah maybe just a bit so for those of you who don't know I play everything I have dozens of consoles from I have consoles older than me I have the newest consoles but my passion lies in retro gaming my main collecting goal going forward is NES Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64. They're my main collecting points. My long-term goal is to get every game for all three of those consoles. So I'm gonna put here my current tally of NES, SNES, and 64 games. And then if I continue to do these videos, I'll update them as I go. But let's get cracking into what I got and I will show you from oldest to newest. So, first game off the bat 
is Miss Pac-Man, the Atari 2600. Um, there was three copies there. This is just incredibly clean. I'll give everyone a closer look, but the condition of this is just phenomenal for a 1987 game. Nearly 40 years old, and it still looks incredible. Next game is a Xonox Double Ender for the Atari 2600. Basically, it's two games in one, depending on which way you put it up. This is Artillery Jewel and Chuck Norris Super Kicks. There's not many of these double enders, so whenever I see one, I do grab them. Um, I watched some gameplay of Chuck Norris Super Kicks. For most of you, it'll look incredibly boring, but for me, the Atari 2600 is the first console I ever played, so I still pick up any half decent game that I find. Um, very excited to play Chuck Norris Super Kicks. Alright, next we're moving on to the NES. Got this copy of Maniac Mansion. Um, got a very good deal on it because the back is covered in stickers and rather than them getting them off, um, I'll take it cheaper and I'll get the stickers off myself. I hear a lot of people talk really good things about this game, so pretty keen to play it. And again, it's in pretty good condition. Once the stickers are off the back, this is very, very good quality and a PAL A copy, which always the best. Next one is nothing incredible, but I didn't have it, so I had to get it. It's Tennis for the NES from the Black Label set. I don't really enjoy sport games, but I tend to always have a lot of fun playing the retro side of the sport games. Tennis, soccer, basketball, all of it. I tend to have fun playing them on the older consoles than I do the newer ones. So I'm glad to add this to the collection as well. Next game, we have Thunder and Lightning. This is an NTSC copy, but I have an NTSC NES, so I'm able to play it. This one, I wouldn't say is rare, but it, it is a slightly harder to find game. I myself have never found it, but it's in amazing condition. Hard to find game. I had to pick it up while the opportunity was there. Next game is another NTSC game. It's called King's Knight. I know absolutely nothing about it, but it's made by Square, which is now Square Enix, and the cover art just looks amazing. It's the, I love this kind of thing. And it's in a really good condition, so I figured grab it while it's there. Can't say no to that cover art. Next we're moving on to Super Nintendo, Super James Pond. I haven't played this one, but I used to play some of the earlier ones on the Commodore Amiga, and they were always good fun. People who play these games seem to love them. I'm very happy to add this to the collection as well. Next one I know is awful, but I'm going for the set, so I had to get it. Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy Sea. If you've played it, you know what I'm talking about. It's not a great game, but still, I have fun playing them, so glad to finally have this to the collection. Next one, the Ren and Stimpy Show, Time Warp. We had a very good deal on this one because it's got some engravings on the front that I won't be able to get rid of, but I'll be able to clean up a little bit. Um, I don't mind having a damaged copy, I can always upgrade it, and for now, I get to play it, so very happy with this one. Next one is one I used to love when I was younger, Rock and Roll Racing. I don't think I've played it in 20 years. So I'm hoping it's as enjoyable now as it was then. But I've been after this for a long time. I've never been able to find a good condition copy. Starboard games have hooked me up. I finally managed to find one. Next up, we have the first of two heavy hitters for the Super Nintendo. This one is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Tournament Fighters. This is one of the few TMNT games that I hadn't had yet. But finally, so glad to have this game. It's so much fun. I cannot wait to play it. It's going to be great. And last for the Super Nintendo, this is a big, big game to find. I'm so glad I finally have it. I've had the manual for about a year, but I've had no game to go with it. It is Terranigma. This game has skyrocketed in price, and I'm so glad I finally managed to grab a copy before it just keeps going up and up. But that is a great Super Nintendo game to add to the collection. We managed to snag one Nintendo 64 game this trip, Xena, Warrior Princess. I don't really even really remember the show, but when I was a kid, I just remember I loved it. Xena and Hercules, watched it every day. Glad to add this one, it's gonna be great. Next up, Cass has added herself a PS1 game to the collection, Spice World. Um, I probably won't play this one, but she's looking forward to it, so straight on the shelf, straight into the library, another winner. And last game for the trip, this one's for me, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. 
if you know me, you know Tony Hawk's Underground 1 is one of my all-time favourite games. I also love this one, but I recently discovered my copy has disappeared. I honestly have no idea where it's gone, so I've been on the hunt for a black label copy. This one's black label, it's complete with the manual, and it's in better condition than mine was, so I'm very happy to add this one back into the collection. And the last thing we picked up is another pickup for Cass. She's managed to pick up herself. It's only an empty box, but it's a SingStar Pop PS2 console pack. Um, it's just the box. We'll easily be able to fill it with inserts. We've already got the big box game. We'll be able to fill this up easy. But she was very happy to add this one to the collection. It collects a lot of the SingStar games. So this is pretty cool. Very uncommon piece to add. Now we just got to find room for it. But that is another good one. So, as you can see, we've managed to add a very, very good stack of games to the collection this trip. As always, Star Wars games is amazing to go to. As I said earlier, they've just got the biggest range of games. Pops, collectibles, consoles, CRT TVs. They have everything now. And every time I go, it's just mountains and mountains of more stock. So if you're into your gaming, you should definitely get in there and check them out. And thank you for watching my first proper attempt at a YouTube video. If you like it, I guess I should tell you to subscribe or give it a thumbs up, something like that. Hopefully if you guys enjoy this, I'll do some more. But again, thank you for watching. Thank you Star Wars Games. Take care. Alright, so that's everything we got from Starboard Games today. If you want to check them out, they're at 35 Baytree Square in Melton. Can't miss them. This is their Instagram. This is their Facebook. Always amazing to come to. Always a great selection of games. You should definitely check them out.